to Mize Music and Entertainment here, and this was my thoughts and psychology on the Silicon Valley. All right, so let's get into this. I am 27 year old male from the Silicon Valley. Um, that's San Jose, Cupertino, Sunnyvale, San Francisco, um, the Bay Area, right? But the Silicon Valley is the South Bay. So this is where I was born and raised. I was born and raised in a place where um, the weather is perfect, absolutely freaking perfect. I may say it's hot, but it's not that hot, you know, like it's not like, like Las Vegas. It's never humid out here. It's just perfect weather. They call it the Mediterranean climate, okay? So um, I'm familiar with the places like, you know, San Jose, Cupertino, Santa Clara, Sunnyvale, Milpitas. I spent a lot of time in San Francisco where my uncle lives. Love you, uncle, to my little cousin. Uh, all you out there in San Francisco, much love. Um, Oakland is another part of the Bay Area. Now, the Bay Area is my home, especially the Silicon Valley. Uh, the South Bay is where a lot of my family has moved and have, have been staying at, and they've been moving out to Modesto and Tracy and Stockton because um, it's getting a little pricey out here. It's getting a little expensive. So if you're in the Silicon Valley and you feel like rent is too high, there's either two choices, two freaking choices. You get the heck out of Dodge and get out of the Silicon Valley because all the tech people are moving in and they're bringing their money. They're bringing their wisdom of computer knowledge, and that's a, a lot of money to be made, right? So, let me turn off my car, sorry. There's either you get out of the Bay Area, you get out of the Silicon Valley, or two, you make more money. There's no other way about it, really. So, it's either leave or find a way to make more money. And people might say, oh, make more money, how am I going to do that? I don't have a college education, I don't have a, a high paying job. You got to just work on yourself a lot and you got to get out there every day, you know. Your paycheck, if you get at the end of the two weeks or every week, you say, all right, what's another uh, form of income or what's another way I can get paid? You can't survive off one income, you have to have another income or and another income, you know. A lot of my family, I've seen do that and some friends too. So you got to have multiple incomes to live here in actually probably the United States. I think it's all very, very expensive now. But the Silicon Valley, you can't find a house for less than 700000 unless it's really, really old and needs to be remodeled. And it's going to cost a lot of money to rebuild that house. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, my Okay, this is my freaking... This is what I wanted to say. About four years ago, I was the angriest guy ever living here in the Silicon Valley. I was like, this is where I'm from. My family's been here for generations. Uh, all my family's getting pushed out because of all these tech people, all these other people. I'm not going to lie. I was pissed. I was looking at motherfuckers coming over here, and I was just mean mugging them. And I was like hating, looking at them like, you motherfuckers, you know, like, taking over this land right here. This is where my family's from and we can't even afford it anymore because you guys come over here with the degrees. I don't want to go to school. I already went to high school. I don't, I'm not good at college. I'm good at music. That's what I want to do. I don't want to go to a university and uh, you know my family's not going to afford that for me. I got to do it on my own, but I don't want to go to school because I don't like it. I'd rather do something else, like uh, make my own, my own way, pave my own, you know, tutor myself, be my own. Uh, teacher, you know, and I was just walking around, boom, listening to some fun gangsta ass rap, being just like, yeah, this is where it all started right here, the Bay Area shit, and that shit, that culture is dying because of all these people moving in from other countries with their visas or whatever it may be, and they are taking our homes. You know, my grandma's neighborhood where we grew up had to pull out you know, the house prices went up. It's like, I was, I used to be like, this isn't fair. If we've already had this house, it should be ours. You know, like my grandma got it a long time ago in the, in the fucking early eighties and she still has to pay for it. No, hell no. This is fucked up. And then everybody moving in, bringing up the property 
taxes, everybody moving in, bringing up all the uh, home prices. And I was so fucking angry. I was like, this is, and not to say it's not fair. Maybe that's how I thought that it wasn't fair. And I was in my early 20s, mid 20s, just fucking listening to death metal hell aloud. Like, yeah, fuck all you. Fuck everybody. Going up at the top of the hill, overlooking the city, not, uh, waiting for a catastrophe or waiting for the shit, the whole city to catch on fire. Or I just wanted to cause some type of fucking anarchy or some shit. I just wanted it all to be God, man. I was like, fuck this. You know, jacking up the home prices all the way up. Uh, making it harder for my family to survive out here. Shit, this is where we're from. You know, native Mexican. Other side of me is white, you know? So that's where my heart was at two, three, four years ago. But now I realized that that psychology will not get me anywhere at all. The only thing that that's going to do is bring me down into a deeper hole and it's going to dig me into a deeper grave and I'm never going to prosper in my life. I'm never going to be happy in my life because I keep worrying about everybody else out there and how much money they were making and how much uh, they were pushing my families out of their homes and how much harder it is for us to survive out here making money, doing jobs, right, that we're doing, we're not being lazy, we're working, but it's not a tech job. It's not a job where someone moved out here with a degree, gets the freaking, uh, the um, job where it pays uh, six figures a year, and now they're pushing families out. Like, oh, I'm going to buy this house, and uh, realtors coming over, like, you know, knocking at the door. Hey, we can sell, we can sell your house right now. So that is where my psychology was at two, three, four years ago, and I was angry as fuck. Out here in Milpitas, in San Jose, there's so much population growth. The traffic is horrible. The traffic is absolutely horrible. But that's what you have to deal with out here, okay? I was super angry, and I'm not lying. I'm working on it every day. I still am a little angry sometimes when I'm driving, and I'm just, everybody just fucking hogging up the roads and homes getting built left and right. That means that, that means everything's just going to get so much more congested. There's so many more homes. Um, and the population is going up, going up here in the Silicon Valley. So I've told myself, Stop thinking about everybody else. Stop complaining. If you don't like it, get the hell, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out if you really don't like it, Derek. If you don't like it, Demise, get the fuck out. And you know what? I'm not giving in. I'm not going to give up that easy and be like, oh, shit, everybody's moving in with money. I got to move out. No, fuck that. What I realize is that I have to make, it's not that I don't make enough. Home, homes are not too expensive out here, okay? I'm just not making enough money. That's really what it is. I can sit here and complain all day, all day, and complain and mope and cry about everybody moving in and home prices going up and what am I going to do? That's not fair. Or I could say, hmm, let me think about it. Let me work harder. Let me uh, put out more stuff, stay more busy, keep making these videos. And um, if I'm doing something right, it'll all come together. Sooner or later, you know, it might not happen now, it might happen tomorrow, it might not happen in five years, it might not happen in ten years. But if I stick with it and I keep working my ass off, it's going to come back full circle. And I, I will see happiness and I will see the everything. You know, happiness is a state of mind, okay? We're happy, we're sad. We're happy, we're sad. It's perception. It's in your mind, you have to make yourself be happy. I've hung out with homeless people that um, have their bad days, they have their good days. And when they have their good days, they realize, hey, I'm still alive, I'm out here. I'm living wherever I wanna live. I'm homeless, yeah, but um, the world is my home. So they can go wherever they want. They can, you know. So it's all, happiness is psychology. Um, as far as the Silicon Valley goes, uh, five years ago, I was angry, I was pissed, I was 
uh, blaming everybody. I was like, yeah, everybody moving in here has so much money. All oh, me and my family have to move out. Uh, I have to move out because I'm not, uh, I don't have a college degree because that's not what I wanted to do in my life. I want to do music and I want to do um, what I, you know, that stuff. That didn't get me anywhere. That fucking wasted my time. That, I wasted so much time thinking like that. So fuck it. We're here now. I'm still out here in the Silicon Valley. I got to work my ass off. Keep putting out these videos. Keep staying true to myself and staying true to you. Um, I got to stay true. Keep it authentic at all times. And, you know, it's going to work out. It's either going to work out or it's not going to work out. And that's the journey. I have to, I'm on the journey right now, right? So I have to um, constantly make the right steps. And when doors open, walk through those doors. Um, if you're going through it, if you're out here in the Silicon Valley and you're definitely going through some hard times and you can't afford it, um, you got to do multiple incomes. You got you to gotta do something that you love on the side or do something that you love full time. That's where it's, it's tough. If you have to pay rent, you can't really do what you love full time. You got to work full time. So you have to work full time and work full time at what you love and that will gain more um, income as the time goes on, right? So, Silicon Valley, I love you so much. You're my home. You have the most perfect weather. Silicon Valley, you are my, where I was raised. You're expensive as fuck now. Silicon Valley, what happened? What the fuck happened, man? You were the fucking soul of me and my family, man. The Silicon Valley, our fucking home. Now, everybody else, welcome. Come through, bring your expertise, bring your knowledge. Welcome, it's a beautiful place. Don't come disrespectful. Come with all the respect. Know this beautiful land is here for everybody, you know. But, you know, I'm on a journey right now and I gotta figure that out. And every day I'm working towards that and I'm not gonna give up. I'm not leaving yet. All right, one love, Demise Music and Entertainment. Thank you so much.